Right, we'll strip this out. T15 bits, apparently. So, start off with this really. This is the main part you'll have to change. I'll be honest, I ain't stripped one of these out before. I don't come across Mora's that often. I live in the Neaton, so that's where Troughton are made. And most of them are Troughton, so. But they're all pretty much the same. I'm not sure if there's a pull out just for that, but it doesn't look like it. So that put part pulls off. Got an A ring on there. So no, you have to undo the motor as well. I'll pull that cable off first. Look. That's made it loose enough so you can get that out. Uh, it's a pretty easy job then, changing that out, the solenoid. I'll just test that. It is faulty, but... So that's the continuity. So no continuity through that whatsoever. Now this should just pull off it. Yep, pulls off pretty easy. So got a faulty solenoid there already. Special clip on it. That's your mixer valve. That's what makes it hot or cold. It takes the hot and cold water and obviously mixes it to the desired temperature via that selector switch. Here's your motor, full of water. This one's faulty, so chucking that straight in the scrap. Take this out now. Basically just your hot and cold inlets, push fit fitting the ball up to it, which is pretty handy. Both ways up and down. So the start, stop, switch mechanism. And now the board. So, 
really easy to work on now. That's your board. It's like a relay, a couple of relays or I don't know you have to check on the side of them, but anyway, that's working. That's it. Easy to strip down. Easy to repair each individual, replace each individual part, so nothing to worry about on them.